Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Jack here. I know this is slightly different to what I normally do, but you're probably watching this video because you're a cyclist, not because you're interested in tech. But if you are, stick around, you may enjoy it. So I'm also a cyclist and I just got my new bike. So I thought I'd do an unboxing and first impressions and look at it and talk you through the order, uh, how long it took, what happened, uh, and then just show you the bike. And then I can do a video later on with a sort of review of it. So whilst I am unboxing it here, uh, I'll run you through what it is and the order process. So this is the Canyon Air Road CF SLX 9.0 Di2. I think that's the full name there. Uh, it's in cherry red. So this is no longer available. It is last year's model. Um, so I got it in the discount, the outlet store. That's what Canyon call it. So you can get some really good prices in there. If you are looking at Canyon, I definitely recommend looking in the outlet store and seeing if they have a frame in your size because you can get some really great deals there. Um, they only have one discount sale of the year and that's during the Tour de France. So you have unfortunately just missed that. But if you're thinking of getting one, either look in the outlet or wait until the discount. That is the only one they do throughout the year, I believe. Um, so some really good prices there. But of course, Canyon are some great value bikes compared to the likes of BMC, Cannondale, Pinarello. You know, you can get all the same specs, but for thousand pounds, you know, thousands of pounds less. So as you can see there, that's the let's get started box. You get things like your tools, um, paste, assembly paste, all the information for the gears things like that, some paperwork there as well. I'm just putting that all off to the side. And then you can see, I do go ahead and try and lift out the bike, but because I have ordered a uh, accessory, being the out front mount for the Garmin. So if you do want a Garmin, you can have that on the out front mount. Um, so I ordered that, but it is an accessory box that blocks the bike from coming out. So. It does say to take it out, but it's fixed into the box. So you'll see later on, I do actually have to cut the accessory box out of this box to just get the bike out. So I think they should probably make it removable, but obviously it's more secure. You'll see me here trying to lift it out, but it's stuck by that. So if you don't order any accessories, it should just lift straight out. And it is very well packaged, I have to say. Um, I've only ordered two bikes online um, and this one uh, it's definitely really well packaged so I've kept the box in case I want to ever send it back or travel because it is a as I said very well packaged and you're paying £35 just for the box so in terms of the order process I ordered on the 5th of July that is a Friday uh, got a confirmation straight away so I thought it was all going well um, I knew it would take slightly longer because I'm in the UK here so Canyon set it up for the left brake doing the front and the right doing the rear. But in the UK, we have the opposite way around, which I think is only in the UK, uh, Japan and Australia or New Zealand, something like that, I think. Um, so it does take, they say, about another week to change over the brakes. So bear that in mind if you're ordering it. Um, and then about a week later, I emailed to check up because I hadn't heard anything from them I thought I'd get a confirmation it's being ready or something like that getting ready never received anything anyway after that they said they couldn't find it so I was a bit worried um, but eventually they did find it and it had just been delayed now whether that's because of the sale being on they must have had a lot of orders um, but once it did get confirmed um, it then arrived once it was dispatched within two days so the overall order took about two and a half weeks it arrived on the 24th so bear that in mind it can take a while but again i'm in the uk so you can knock a week off hopefully if you're somewhere um where the brakes don't have to be switched so overall the order process was very good uh, again as i said it's great value um i won't tell you the price but Go ahead and look on Canyon's website if you're interested in the bikes. So whilst I finish taking the bike out of the box, I'll run you through the specs. It's obviously the Air Road CF SLX. So that's the top of the range frame with the lightest carbon layup and stuff like that. 
in the cherry red, which they no longer do, unfortunately. So that's last year's model, but they do it in a black, a blue, or in the higher end, a katusha red, I believe now. Uh, there's also a silver if you go for the disc brake models. Um, but it comes with the Mavic Comet Pro Carbon SL UST wheels, long name there. But they're tubeless ready. They come with tubeless uh, tyres, sorry. But they are just uh, with inner tubes when it comes in the box. And there you can see the bike with the Shimano Dura Race group set, the integrated handlebars and the wheels. So I've gone ahead and set it all up. It's pretty simple to do. Just put in the seat post with the saddle, put on the handlebars, put in the front wheel, and then set up the brakes, which do have to not only be um, centered, I found, but also I had to raise up the brake pads. So I thought originally it would come up fully set up, um, but maybe it's because the brakes were switched, I don't know. But I do s will say that the brake pads were too low for the braking track, so I did have to move them up ever so slightly. I don't know if this is just standard, but if you have got a rim brake model, do bear that in mind. I would make sure to check the brake pad height, uh, make sure it's in the center of the brake track. Uh, just in case Canyon haven't got that right. I don't know if that's a one-off, but just bear that in mind. So as you can see, you've got the lovely uh, streamlined front end there. You do have those cables coming out of the all-in-one handlebar and stem. You can see I've put the water bottle cages on there as well. Uh, some nice ones I had from my last bike. And you can see there the Garmin mount out front there, along with the H11 stem. Going down the down tube there, I did get an extra large uh, frame. So I'm six foot four. Uh, and this is, their estimates are 189 to 194 centimeters. Uh, to get the extra large frame. So I'm about 194, 195 centimeters. So I went for the extra large and I'm very happy with that. I actually haven't got my seat post uh, all the way out. I have about an extra one and a half to two centimeters left if I wanted to raise any higher. So bear that in mind, uh, you can go down a size, but I wouldn't go down personally to the size below, but I know people that do just for the weight to have it closer in all things like that. But um, just because I'm not gonna be changing the handlebars and the stem, things like that. So just easier to go with that sizing. It is pretty accurate. So you can see that the Shimano Dura Race DI2 gears, all very nice and clean, all shiny, brand new like that. Um, but yes, very nice. The tires as well, it comes with the Mavic tires. So they are made for those wheels, they're also tubeless ready, so they seat really well. Uh, reading the reviews before I got it, um, I'm not sure if I will run them tubeless yet, but I've heard they pair really well nicely together. So if I do want to run them tubeless, I've got that option. So heading over to the cockpit area, you can see I have my Garmin on there. It's a 510, so quite old now, but still running pretty well apart from the touch screen but we'll glide over that and um, so you can see very clean cuts there along the top that is the frame underneath so it's got the red paint on the side and then just the top there is left the standard color underneath the black and then underneath you can see i try and get you a good view of where the junction box is it's held in by this little clip which you can pull down to access to charge it so don't yank it but it is pretty secure there and you can see the sprint shifters uh, I did lower them originally they are right up near the top uh, more swiveled back towards the rider so I did lower them just personal preference play around with it um, and then I did cut a hole so they could come through without having to wrap the handlebar tape in a funny way um, just using a hole punch thing, something used for cutting holes in a belt, something like that will work, or a knife. And then you can see just some other pictures of the frame there, the nice cherry red color. If you guys have any questions as well, do post comments down below um, or follow me on Twitter, ask a question there, and I'll try and get back to you on that. But we'll go ahead and move on. Okay, so we've taken a look around the bike and now we're gonna go ahead and weigh it in. So. I'm using a pair of scales here, 
Bear in mind it has got the Garvin Cadence sensor on here, the pedals, they're Ultegra pedals from a few years ago, and it's got the Garmin mount, but no Garmin, so we'll go ahead and weigh it, and that is weighing in at 7.54 kilos. So just under 7.6 kilos, very impressive for an aero bike. We'll go ahead and set that back down, take this off, and as GCN always do, a free hug sound test, we'll go ahead and do one of those as well. Pretty nice sound. So there you go, that is the Canyon Aero CF SLX 9.0 in the cherry red. If you guys have any questions, do post a comment down below. Anything about the bike, the setup, how it rides, um, the order process, do go ahead, post a comment and I'll get back to you. I'll also try and do another video in the future, a review of sorts on this bike. Uh, if you found this video useful or enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new as well, and I will see you guys in the next video.